It used to be a team, but then came oh, back as another it was the team. Carolina, was it the Carolina Panthers? Boo. Wait, an expansion team. Wait. The number one overall pick in the 1999 draft was what? Tim Couch. Oh, draft yeah, no, no, I didn't remember. Fuck the Browns. Number two, Philadelphia Eagles was Donovan McNabb. Sam McNabb. Number three. You know who number three was? Anyone know who number three was? I'll give you a gift card if you can guess who number three was. The Bengals. The Bungles? Uh, I said Achilles Smith. Achilles Smith. Times. Achilles Smith. Yeah, you guys can rock, paper, scissors for the gift card. One of y'all don't know how to play rock, paper, scissors. Hey, shout out to Sports Talk with Mark. Wild Wings on I touchdowns and tangents, man. Enjoy that. Jamming jalapeno. It's back full time. So shout out to Buffalo Wild Wings Marks. for actually doing something right for once. But yeah, man. You ready for another trivia question or you're tapping off? Let's do it. No, no, no. Let's do it. All right. Who did the Los An- who did the St. Louis at the time Rams, now currently the wait, LA wait. Rams. So yeah, we're in LA. Who did they take at number six overall in the nineteen ninety nine draft? I know wait, hold on. If I'm correct, man, I thought I this was like, a Ramley ball. Like I am. Where are the Rams fans? No, no, no. I'm gonna say it. Tory Holt, wide receiver, North Carolina State, and he's better than Heinz Ward. You cheated. No, I didn't. I didn't look at anything. You cheated. What's I his think name? this was a second round pick out of Memphis. What was his name? I said Tory Holt out of North Carolina State. Tory Holt, you got it right. Fan. All right. No, no, I'm giving it away to charity. Give it, yeah, to, give I'm it a, to anybody in the crowd. I'm going to give you one more. One more. No, he said it first. Nah, nah. Here, I got If you well, get this one, I'll give you it. All right, ready? All right. All right, we're also in L.A., so I'm going to give you this. Who was the first USC player taken in the 1999 draft? I will give you a hint. He went number nine overall to the Detroit Lions. Oh, can I say it? Can I say it? Or are you Let's see. Me? Crowd, anyone got an answer? I got a gift card. 1999. Detroit Lions, number nine. You got it? Chris Claiborne. Chris Claiborne. He's Calabasas' yep. high school head coach. Yep. Shout out to you. Fuck them, though, because they beat Londo. Other Shout notables. Out to high school. They won a state title. Other notables from the 1999 NFL draft. I mean, the top three were kind of bust outside of McNabb, but. You also had Edger and James. Hall you of had Famer. Champ be. Bailey. You had David Boston, who's yoked for no reason. Had like one Pro Bowl season. You're not saying that to his face, though. Chris McAllister. Dante Culpepper. Javon Curse. Put some respect on Dante Culpepper's name, by the way. Damian Woodley. Antoine Winfield. Al Wilson. Mike Rucker. Dre Bly. So, yeah, this draft class 20 years ago was pretty stoked. Sounds like a hood ass. Oh, mistake. Joey Porter in the second round. Shout out to Steelers, even though I don't really mess with y'all. But Nobody but, cares about Kansas City, dog. But, yeah, man. Hey, name one person besides Derek Thomas. Go ahead. Mike Hale. Name one person. You say Steve Bono? Nobody knows that. That's a wrestler. All right, I, said, man. I said a defensive end, not a running back. So, you try it though. Every week we play a game here on Touchdowns and Tangents. And since it's I called, answered two of those, just give two of them away, bro. It is called Take or Tangent. Basically, it's a game where you either say you have a hot take, you know, you know what a hot take is, or a tangent. Meaning I have a hot take, peach is an offbeat off story, airlines. an offbeat angle. You got a different way you want to take it. Take your hat off. However you want to do it. So, we're going to start this game off, Kenny. He's deflecting by not saying anything. Take we're your going to start off. off, Kenny, and I'm looking at someone very specific in the audience who isn't even paying attention right now. All right, you got a take or a tangent on the Chiefs. Trading for Frank Clark this week. They sent a number one overall pick and a number two next year. You remember um, 
the show Married with Children. They had the, I know it was the Little Rascals. They had like the Women Haters Club. Yeah. That's pretty much the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh. The Women Haters Club. Oh. Uh, what? The Kansas City Domestic Abusers? Oh. Shit. Uh, but it's all right. Y'all got Steph Curry at quarterback, right? Oh, my bad. Man, it's cool. My I bad. Mean, they're going to be, bo- be in anger management and boxing classes together. <laughs> hey, why does Pat Mahomes now look like Riley Curley, though? Partner. Why does he look like... Yeah, go ahead. We got the resident Chiefs fans, the good news sports. MC Lightskin in the flesh. The point guard, courtside. Only Chiefs fan I ever met. What's up? Hey, hey first of all, just seven just of y'all in existence. Know, uh, there is a club called Chiefs LA where it's a bunch of fans that are Chief fans in LA. So you can go to Jalapeno Peach and huh? meet me there huh? and watch a huh? football game. But when it comes hey, to the Chiefs. Someone talking about the Chiefs? When it comes to the Chiefs, My bad. I, I love the trade because our defense was one of the worst defenses last year. So you add Frank Clark, a pass rusher who averages nine sacks in the last three seasons. He had 11 last year. We're going to score 30 points. Yeah, 14 points. last year. 14. We're going to score 30 points a game. So all we need is enough to get stops. We are not. We don't fear the Raiders in our division. We don't fear the Broncos. And we don't fear the Chargers. So the, I let, think we have let, a chance to be the new Patriots. Let me ask you this, though. Got no fan. Is y'all can't Frank Clark years. even better than D. Ford? Yeah, because D. Ford, isn't, uh, he isn't great at stopping the run. So that was uh, – when we lost to the Patriots, they killed us with the running game. The game – the game when it touched down. The ga- Deep Ford is the reason why y'all lost, but yeah, they lost. Exactly. He was offsides, and you're paid millions of dollars to play football, and you can't be onside, so he deserves yeah. to be with the Niners. But let me pose this question up, to you. Not even, nobody on defense Clark, can stop the run. Can why Frank Clark even play stand-up in? Is he even a stand-up no, in? No, but we're, we're running a 4-3. He's been a 4-3 his whole career. We have, we're running a 4-3 because Steve Spagnolia is there. You know oh, okay. the guy that beat the Patriots twice. Okay. He was show. trash everywhere else. I'm going to call you Gumby because you're out here reaching. No, I'm telling you guys. Hey, Mikhail make, Gruden. Hey, make sure you guys Mikhail buy. Mikhail Gruden out here reaching. Make sure you buy the brand new Madden because there's a Kansas City Chief on the front, the best quarterback for the next 20 years, Patrick Mahomes. And, well, uh, since at, you brought it up, that was actually our next topic. Patrick Holmes Pat Mahomes, like, 2020, Madden cover athlete. You got a take or you got a tangent on that? How do you feel about the man curse? How I feel about it is he deserves it. Uh, he's one of the best young quarterbacks to ever play football. Um, the guy is amazing. He's, he's, he's selling big. Like he's starting to get endorsements and everything now. Why not put him on Madden? Um, he put he's, ketchup on his mac and cheese. I don't trust him. Yeah. But, <laughs> hey, I know everyone talks about the curse, but I don't believe there's a curse when you have a great player, great coach. Uh, great system around him, so we're going to be all right, man. Andy Reid chokes every year. Now he put ketchup on mac and cheese. Hey, don't disrespect Andy. If my Reed. mother put ketchup on mac and cheese. I'm disowning her. Hey, we lost to the Patriots and the refs, so it's it's tough to win, you know. That sounds like the excuse of losers. Hey, be hey, the Chiefs won a Super Bowl. Anybody know? I buy you a drink if you can is tell me. Is Andy Reid the new Marty Schottenheimer? They Super Bowl two. Is Andy Reid the new in Marty Schottenheimer? In the modern era. Super Bowl two. That's the, that's the AFL. No, we, we, that's beat, the AFL. we beat the Vikings Super that's Bowl That's the two. AFL. No. He really cited Super Bowl two. Like Hank you're alive. Hank some shit. Hank Stram. Like, like you're alive. Like Hank Stram is the best coach to ever coach in NFL. Bro, season. just because you streamed Fam. it on NFL Films Fam. one time doesn't mean you saw it. Leave the stage. Hey. Hey, thank you guys for having me, you guys. No worries, man. You guys' no show worries. is amazing. Uh, keep thank doing you. what you're doing. I-, I like the work, man. Shout out to the Good News Sports. Sir. Shout out to Courtside Radio. We got stickers up here if you want some stickers, support. I just want you tangents. to know that Patrick add us Mahomes. on IG, add us on Twitter, TDs underscore tangents. Go ahead, KB. Patrick Mahomes sounds like a Muppet that got asked by another Muppet, where on the Muppet did the Muppet touch you? <laughs> the squeaky-ass voice. He really does look like a Muppet, though, honestly. Like, he looks like the Muppet. That was like the assistant to the uh, Mr. Beaker. You know the guy who's like me, 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 me. He looks like that guy. I know. Hey. I know. What y'all, I know. What I'm talking about on the Muppets. That's, but on that scientist who looks, he might have been Asian, bald head, and his fucking assistant, Mr. Beaker. That's Patrick Mahomes, and he puts. He looks like on Riley him. Curry, uh, going transitioning. What? <laughs> 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 but yeah, man. 
back on top. I don't think I've ever been rendered speechless, but like, if you get jumped, I'm not helping you. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not helping you. You just talked about somebody. Sorry, it's my kids. birthday. You can't you can't do nah. anything about my birthday. Nah. Hey, you but back on topic, man. To pick on. Back on topic. So the Madden curse, 2019, AB went through it. Didn't make the playoffs. Was all over the place. 2018, Brady lost the Super Bowl, and the Madden curse just keeps going on from there and there. I think the Madden I, curse. Do you think broke. it's gonna? Do you think it's gonna break with? I think, the Madden, I think the Madden curse broke uh, with Larry Fitzgerald and Troy Polamalu. That was a crazy year. But honestly, I think because he puts ketchup on his fucking mac and cheese and we don't, like, shun him for the disgusting human being that he is, that's why the curse comes back. Bro, All right. I don't trust you. I don't trust anybody who does that. Any, I don't trust his friends. I don't trust, any, I don't trust his mother. I don't trust anyone who co-signs him. That's disgusting. All right, next topic. That's like watering down my Hennessy. That's, and that's grounds to get fucked up. No, nah, that's mine. Wait, did you just drink? You drank my beer? No, that was my beer, dude. I only had one beer. That was definitely hey, my beer. How you drink all your beer and my beer? That was definitely my beer. Selfish. Why are you out here snitching, Selfish. woo? Selfish. That was 100% Selfish, my beer. Just boot. like a Clippers fan. All right, man. Got to steal everybody else's shit. Shout out to Shout out to, right. Shout out to Marshawn Lynch, too, while we're at it. I'll get to that later. But Antonio Brown has been an ongoing story on the show for pretty much like a year. And going to fight Ryan Clark. He wants to fight Ryan Clark. In high altitude in Denver. He literally said on site. Where his sickle cell won't help. Actually, no. That's oh, up. that's Oh, now you're talking about getting jumped. Now you're talking hey, about sickle cell. He better not. Don't they play in Denver? Ryan Clark better stay out of Denver. So you got a take or a tangent on A.B. Calling out Ryan Clark, his former teammate. I think a lot of former athletes in the media like to go that extra route and slander their former teammates. And the Steelers are some of the biggest hypocrites because all their bum-ass players are saying, oh, if you got a problem with one of the people on the team, you know, talk to us privately. But y'all raided Le'Veon Bell's locker in real time in front of the world. And I forgot who said it, but somebody called out and was like, and the Big Ben is racist. Bums. Someone called it out like two weeks ago. Big Ben is racist. Nobody wants to say it. That's pretty much the real issue with the Steelers Shopping locker room. Oh, yeah. Then he backtracked. Shout out, shout out to Camille, a.k.a. my boy Wu's girlfriend. Thank you for pouring me a beer. You're the amazing. real question is, like, you still drank my beer. No, that, that was, was 100% my beer. my beer. That was 100% my beer. What kind of Manifest Destiny bullshit is this? You just Those are your beer? M&M's. Those are with your big ass. I got and take your hat <laughs> off, nigga. We still waiting for you to take your hat off. <laughs> All right, man. So no, the brim of your hat is sweating like a motherfucker right now. You catching rainwater with that shit. <laughs> How is your scalp holding that in place? Thank you, Mancini. Shout out to the homie Mancini. He really brought you a quarter of a beer. Nah, but this was like Ooh. my other beer from earlier. You whited from Santa uh, Clarita? Uh, you couldn't do a half A white man least? just brought me a beer. You couldn't even do a half at least? I didn't even ask him to Come bring on, it. I'm just playing. I'm with you, man. Come on, man. All right. Next game we got. This one too? Next game we got is called Touchdown or Turnover. This one's even more simple. Pretty much, touchdown is good. Turnover is bad. Even the most basic NFL fan can't understand. You to turn that. over that hat off your head, my guy. So, first up, you already mentioned it. Marshawn Lynch retires from the NFL. Ugh, oh, hell no. Time out. LJ Collier out of TCU. Nah, that's actually a good spot for him. So, he's Frank Clark 2.0. I had him going there in the second round. Bro, he's tr- I don't believe in this dude. I don't believe in TCU defensive players. And I think most of them usually test positive for weed. Shout out to Casey You didn't Paul. even have him in your second round, by the way. I didn't have... You I also didn't have Tillery going in the first round, which I, I did. So. Well, Tillery could have. Like, but yeah, Seahawks man. traded their pick to the Giants. What the fuck? Is Marshawn Lynch calling his career a quit? Is that a touchdown or is that a turnover? That's a touchdown, man. Shout out to Marshawn. Mostly because... Hey, yep, shout, shout out to... Shout, shout out, out to, to Intern and Serve. That's a touchdown. Y'all right. Shout out to Serve. Our intern, our third wheel, 
Thank you for supporting us. All Thank the way from Seminary in East Oakland. 